Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. In today's video, we are going to look at the difference between this Green Stuff World's new dipping inks. This is Orc Flesh Dip. I had a quick conversation with one of the lads at the shop that we bought this from. Uh, we think that they've run out of copyrights for, to try and figure out some form of contrast paint name. And of course, Orc Flesh Contrast Paint. Um, I'm going to, just going to be doing a bit of a comparison. I'll have a look at some prices. This is, of course, made by Games Workshop. This is by the, I believe it's a Spanish company, uh, Green Stuff World, which, as you, if you've ever watched it really on this channel, you will know that we do a lot of uh, Green Stuff World uh, products on here because I, I do really, really enjoy them. It's nice to be able to have a store in the UK that is selling them. Right, so... Let's get on with a little bit of comparison review. So the first thing I'm going to look at really with these two guys here is the price difference. Now contrast, I'm doing this based on the prices from a friend's shop. This is Hobby Workshop. You get up to 25% of Warhammer, so their prices are a little bit different from Standard Games Workshop RIP. Uh, but Citadel Colour, Contrast Orc Flash, that at the time of recording goes for £3.68. Uh, for 18 mil of product now i've had this a little while uh, i got this when the contrast first came out and i've not actually gone through it yet but i find that I'm, I'm still using a lot more of the older traditional techniques to be able to paint my models this green stuff world dipping inks is five pounds and nine pence uh, but as you can see this is 60 mil this is considerably larger than the Games Workshop counterpart. Um, it's a hell of a lot more liquid in here, but it is a dropper bottle, so it does mean you need a palette to be able to use it, whereas with the Games Workshop contrast paint, you don't, you can just take it straight out of the lid. So I'm gonna have a quick look on my silver palette. Yes, I know this needs cleaning and bit of the flesh you can just see about there all oh, flesh from workshop is running quite a nice light color bright ish color so nice bit of trans silver transparency underneath from the product but with the you do actually get a shaker as well which is quite nice in this and you can hear that so I haven't got to use any of them. I sometimes actually do put magnetic, uh, non-rust non, non sort of like paint balls. For, again, that's actually a Green Stuff World product that I've picked up uh, in here. Um, that's so that, it, depending on course upon the colour, it can actually aid with uh, mixing up the colours. Because some of them, if you can see here from Space Wolf Grey, it likes to settle. Whereas I've had these, uh, this colour in so far, and I don't believe it's settled, but I don't know yet. I've never had it out. So, let's crack it open. Satisfying. Tight nozzle. And that looks like it runs a lot thicker. Uh, as you can see, I've had to put it into... Try and get it side by side. Now, yeah, that's definitely a darker color then it's games workshop counterpart but as always we're going to have to do a proper test and we're going to have to paint some models with these so here are the two models we can hit some dogs back in the background i do apologize i have no idea where these models have come from i think you're supposed to have them about wearing the carrying shells uh he has lost a foot because i dropped him during spraying and it hit the garage floor and i have no idea where it's gone but it doesn't matter because all we're really looking at is how these are going to work on uh, while we're applying this particular paint so this is going to be quite interesting to be able to do this right if i start with the games workshop contrast paint let us go <laughs> So while we're waiting for the Orc Flesh Wash to dry, let's get on with the Dipping Inks Orc Flesh. So just while these paints are drying, 
Uh, don't forget that I've got another video on my channel. It should have come out at the same time as this one. This is going to be showing a difference between some of the purples that Green Stuff World has released and that Games Workshop's Contrast has released. Uh, these are they're both drying nicely. Um, I think there's a lot more pooling from what I can see on the Green Stuff World model, which is this one in this hand. So I may have to just go in with a brush to try and adjust. So when it comes to drying time, both of these particular products dried quite well. Uh, and they both dried roughly in the same length of time. Now, the this is the Orc Flesh. As you can see, there's a bit more tidying. I think that's because this is more of an ink and I might have used too much. Um, it definitely a lot darker than the Games Workshop or Flesh. This is more traditional, sort of, I would call like a not like a Warhammer or but to, you know, like a Lord of Rings style, very dark green. It's actually quite nice. If you could get it over, maybe airbrush, you could probably get it. Good dark into a color there. And this, of course, is the uh, the standard Orc Flesh Wash from Games Workshop. Uh, I kind of, I think I prefer the Games Workshop one over the dipped ink one, over the dipped ink one would actually give you, that would be really good, sort of like on darker oak, such as your war boss. Now, while I was painting with these two particular products, I did notice that you did need to use a little less, you didn't slather it on like you did with Games Workshop's contrast paint. You had to be a bit more gentle with it. It works more like an old school ink wood. And I had to, because I used such a large amount, I had to sort of try and stop any sort of pooling from happening, which is probably why I got some of these tide marks across the top of the flatter surfaces. It did go into the recesses pretty well. And it has left, you know, if you did give yourself, I think this would act a lot better if you gave it yourself a Xenophil highlight uh, compared to Games Workshop's how. Games Workshop, though, well, it does depend on the contrast. Um, so if you watch the other video, you will possibly see what the shyish purple looks like contrast-wise. It's very solid. Um, depending on the contrast depends on how you have to work with it, which is a little bit uh, unfortunate. The dipping inks, I would say that you work... The two that I've used, the purple and the green, you are working pretty much the same way with both. So there you go, folks. There's a quick little sort of review, product review, comparing Green Stuff World's dip in inks to Games Workshop's Orc Flesh Contrast Paint. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Tell me which one you prefer down in the comments below. If you do enjoy this content, please like, share, subscribe, all the usual good stuff that you do to your favourite YouTube content creators. And we'll see you next time.